Hello, I'm Copy. You know, as in copyright, you must have heard of me. I'm coming to you through this channel straight from Brussels, and I'm trying to explain the copyright review. So first, copyright is a boring, old, complicated thing that's been going pear-shaped from the start. I actually made a neat little Draw My Life video about it. It's there. Go and have a look. Anyway, today I want to talk to you about something called Freedom of Panorama. But first, a warning. Some of the statements made in this video may make you doubt my mental sanity. So just to set things straight, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. Honestly, I'm fine. Freedom of panorama means that everything that is in the public space can be seen and shown by everyone to everyone, including through images or videos. And this covers human creations that are in the public space and have often actually been paid for with public money. Sounds logical, no? Makes sense? Everyone on board? Cool. Well, uh, no. This freedom doesn't actually exist in certain countries. And in these countries, pieces of public space are sometimes copyrighted. Now, that could be a building or a sculpture. Copyright could actually even cover an entire city. This means that you can't show these pieces of public space in a commercial context. But, 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 wait, isn't the, the whole of the internet commercial? But then what's left? Can we just show pictures of deserts? So you've got no Periscope live streaming or Snapchat or Facebook, no flickering, no cloud uploads, no pinning on any pin boards or even on your office coffee machine. Your nice picture on Airbnb of that beautiful village marketplace. Well, it's not yours if there's a sculpture on it. Now don't laugh, I'm not losing my marbles. You could actually be living in one of those countries, or you could be spending your next holiday in one. And you know what's even more stupid than the fact that you might not own a photograph because there's a statue in the background? Well, the rules about this are often different from one country to another. And that's something that the EU doesn't like, that rules change when you move across Europe. So good. Let's seize the European Copyright Review as an opportunity to end this misunderstanding. How? By adapting this rule to fit with reality? After all, there was a time when ownership of a land extended to everything above and under it. To infinity and beyond! But then planes are invented, and well, you know, they tend to fly over land. That doesn't make a lot of sense. So what did we do? Well, you know, maybe we sold planes when they were flying above our house. Or maybe we just forgot about planes. No, 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 of course not. We just changed the rules. We made them made sense for the modern world. Extending freedom of panorama to all EU countries means allowing everyone to show our public spaces without having to ask permission to anyone. But beyond this touristy question of whether or not you can put that picture of that fountain on Facebook, the entire copyright review is at play. Copyright is a tool, not a goal. And the goal of using this tool is to boost creativity and the access to knowledge, to encourage and reward creativity, whilst also ensuring that things can be enjoyed by everyone fairly. So that's it for now. But if you want to continue getting my personable fun updates on the copyright review in Brussels, subscribe to my channel by clicking here now.